Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to do a first impressions and review on the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I've got two shades because um, this one probably looks more like my natural tone and then this is more when I'm like fake tanned, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see how it goes anyway. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this, um, especially I know Shan XO loves it, who is my favourite, you know, I love her so much. And I'm pretty sure Crystal Conti liked it. And a few other people on YouTube I have seen have liked it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a first impression. This will be my first, Im my first, first impressions on foundation. I have a fair bit to do today. It is now 11 o'clock. I've already done a lot of like cleaning my house and I've got to do like food shopping, etc, etc. But I will um, put it on for like now and then obviously I'll do my makeup. I'll come back. I've got another video to edit and put up. And then later, um, I'll be going to the movies, so hopefully I can come back, you know, after the movies. So it'll be a fair, like, quite a bit later that I can do a few different check-ins. So that'll be good. So anyway, I will start to put it on. Check which colour I want. I might have to do a mix, because that one looks a bit light. Oh, it's very watery. Maybe I need to shake it up a bit. It looks like I need 210. Yeah. I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush, which I am absolutely loving, by the way, at the moment. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And I forgot to fucking prime. All right, so because I forgot to prime, I'm just going to prime this side of my face to see how that lasts um, for the day. I will use a bit of my Steel Light One Step Correct, tiny bit, because obviously I'm only doing half my face, and see how it holds up on my half my face with primer and the other half without the primer. I'm going to use my stippling brush as well. I think I need to clean that other one because it's a bit stiff. So, so far, I I don't hate it, but I'm not really liking how I'm, how I'm applying it, but how it's applying. Um, I'm not... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm not too sure how I like the application, but we'll see. I can blend it in with my buffing brush in a minute anyway. It always definitely, it definitely applied better on the prime side, so I would highly recommend to prime because it looks better as well. This side looks more um, cakey, I guess you'd say. I'm just going to use my um, Tea Chi Beauty Sponge. I'm just going to spray it with some mist just to dampen it. Okay, so that's one layer. I definitely feel like I want to build it up a tiny bit because, I mean, you can't see through my skin. You can definitely see my freckles. My redness is depth, like, has gone, but... I want a little tiny bit more coverage, so I will put a little bit more on. I put about one, one and a half squirt, so I will do one more big cut sort of squirt. There we go. And already that's looking a lot better, coverage-wise. So, I mean, I feel like I'm going to use a fair bit of it when I do use it, but that's fine. It's, like, fairly affordable anyway, so... I think I might have put a little bit too much out, but oh well. And I, again, I think that other shade is like a lot, even a bit too light for when I've got natural skin. Yeah, so the non-prime side, even though my pores aren't very big, it has like sunk into my pores, but the prime side it hasn't, so that tells you a lot. Okay, so that is um, two full layers. I've still got a little bit on my hand, but I'm just going to wipe it off because I put too much out. Um, I do, I am liking it at the moment. I didn't like how it applied at first, but I definitely recommend using primer because that side didn't apply anywhere near as good as this side, which was where the primer was. So I'm going to finish my makeup off. Um, might do some editing. I don't know which way I'm going to go around it, but last 11 and I will be back shortly. Okay guys, so I'm back. So it is now 12.36. So obviously I finished my makeup. I edited a video. And I'm about to go out for the day, do a few little things, wash my car because it's 
freaking filthy. Um, and so far, I mean, I'm actually loving the foundation, but I don't know if an hour and a half is really much of a difference. But just wanted to show you, I did do a flash test and no flash test like photo obviously and I mean they look both it looks good so there's no flashback on it. it looks good either flash or no flash so I will show you those in a second and I will come back in a few hours um, probably about three or four o'clock and then hopefully again after the movies which will be like eight or nine o'clock so that'll be a good you know nine to ten hours that this foundation has been on my face so I will see you soon I just wanted to show you obviously this but you know there's nothing um, no movements no nothing obviously I've said it with some powder but yeah I'm pretty impressed at the moment so anyway I will talk to you soon so I'm back it is now um, 4 12 so um, obviously I haven't touched up or anything. I've only touched up my lips. And if you want to know what's on my lips, it's the Velour Lips Australis, um, Australis Velour Lips in Paris. And I really, really love it. Anyway, um, I went to the shops, had some lunch. And I haven't needed to touch up at all. Obviously, I wasn't going to anyway. But I don't think um, nothing has really happened to my foundation. The only thing is maybe where my bronzer was. I don't know if that really matters. But the foundation looks just as good just around my mouth there where I have eaten obviously um, there's a tiny bit not there anymore but that's to be expected I guess if I've had a fairly big meal I was starving as well so um, my forehead looks the same I think the only spots are just my cheeks where like I said usually I haven't got very big pores but the side that wasn't primed um, just sunk into my pores a little bit so yeah I'm still thoroughly impressed um, I actually really really like the way that I still look and I will be going to the movies at about 6 o'clock or so. I might film before then, I don't know. It wouldn't really make a difference, I guess. It's been five hours now since 11 o'clock. So I will definitely keep you updated from when or when I get back from the movies. It'll be about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Probably might even be 9.30 actually because um, we're going to gold class. So that'll be awesome. Uh, anyway, um, I will talk to you soon. Hey guys, so I'm back again. Um, it is now 9.20. Whoa, that is really bright. 9.22 and I just got back from the movies. Um, obviously, I have been, I just like ate again for dinner and all my lipstick's gone. But a little bit of the mas mas mascara? Yeah, mascara. A little bit of the foundation has gone there. But, I mean, you can't really see. But it still doesn't look bad. I mean, probably the areas where I rubbed my face and whatnot. Um don't look that good but in saying that it has been 10 hours 10 and a half hours nearly so it's pretty good and without having to touch up and like I say eating and whatnot so I feel like if you were to be going clubbing or whatever it would be perfect still because you're obviously not out for longer than 10 hours and if you are then you don't care if you look like shit really and also um you'd probably put more on like I don't I feel like I didn't really pack it on as much as I could or did my contour as much as I should have or could have whatever but anyway you probably noticed that I have changed again but it doesn't really matter I just felt like changing I didn't want to wear that um, other dress to the movies so I um, am going to go to bed now because I'm tired and I can't wait to take my makeup off and just go to bed and relax so definitely I really really like this foundation especially for the price um, I'd recommend it highly I didn't tell you earlier but I have got like dry skin I have got a good skincare routine at the moment so it's not really really dry but I definitely haven't got any oil really at all so I don't know what it would be like for oily skin but I know for my skin it was really good so um, if you enjoyed this please thumbs up for me that would really help um, me out and if you enjoy videos like this like this like I said this is my first foundation one so hopefully you enjoyed it um, I will talk to you in my next video thanks for watching bye